Al Graham with the Kid Pixie Radio. Books on tape today. I'm going to give it a go. My friend Big John Separate, he's a wise man, a great astrologer, and a dear friend. So he said to me, why don't you put your books on tape, Mr. Graham? I said, Mr. Graham is my father. You can call me Al. So I said, you know what? I'm going to do, I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it in a little book of poetry now. The cover is the Coleman Salt Girl, if you remember, it never, what, what does it say? It never rains, but it pours. So this little painting here was done by a teacher of my first daughter, Ariel. I'm sorry, Tristan. Ariel was my second daughter. And it, I wrote a poem, and I'm going to read it to you, but it was about, see the little girl in the rain? Look at the, Mort the old Morton Salt um, package. This is a collector's edition. This is for all the topsy-turvy girls. If you know a topsy-turvy girl in your life, you're a lucky man. I have one that I've known for many years since she was a little child, and she is delightful. Every time I think of her, I just think of happiness, peace, and laughing our butts off together. I published this first in 1971 in Coronado, yeah? All right, the first poem is this. These two sisters, Eucharist love, wave breaks from breast to breast. The monk brown mounds of Muslim her in purity invest. Extract their souls unsick from the pit upon song plains. They steer their hearts about the heaven's fields. And none can pain, no clutch, no blood suck down to the willful days. The boxer's misty brain was purchased by an obscure woman tall and with shattered cheeks. His silence sailed through the apple spread streets as she carried him home. Home they galloped through the dagger rain before the carved door inside the solemn changer and beside a brilliant fire she extracted his soul. When he first walked on the moon, I thought, thoughts of dizziness, walking all over the moon and breathing in a mechanical way like that. He was my best hero. Gosh, he was so shiny all over himself. Then one day he began to appear in cartoon fashion, selling things for the television man. The moon died. I heard it shivering. And my, my hero became just another caricature joke. She walks among the asters which kiss her fingertips. The babies in the swallow's nest whisper of her beauty and life in all the fields sings out in morning song. They sing, your love is coming with lips so warm like morning sun. She's passing through our fields to touch your lonely heart. Had a dream, but such a dream of men and pain and three o'clock Saturday. In Bangkok. Saw so a day once, arrests, films, more veils, dust arising, uniting, poets unemployed by people, redundant, black veils, polluted poets in cities. Do poets die? Dead poets, dying poets, poetic death. What keeps poets from dying? Gutter dying poets, bad poets, phony women, phonies, eggshells, baby, newborn poet. Sorry, America. When I was young, in a tender life, I told of the Earth, the Moon, and the stars, and the orbits of every sun, and the golden galaxies that are out there, and me so small here. My only love is squeezed into every purple star in silver orbits on Venus and other places. When I was small and trembling, my only love was there to kiss my fiery mind and make me sleep in sweetest sleeps. The body girls are out today, scanning in the gentle morning, burning, sighing in their creaking seesaw fashion. Their throngs call echoes of the sticky city sun, long legging the sidewalks with taut silver necks and baker warm, cobra flicks of breath. The powder fragrance summons a passerby, 
grabs with a bulldog lock and drains with rapid emptying bath passion. In a beacon-like farmhouse, an organization of monks with ancient habits that could irritate the newest born flesh and with a carbolic odor and red corrugated brows in a climax of prayers are begging for further penances. The can tin, the meat inside, pink salmon teeth mashing, pointed, revel in the stupid life of pleasure and pain. See the boy, new, sitting in the shadow, worn by the day, disease sunshine with the flies and waiting. Select the afternoon, the execution, the gentle pain, seeping the loudest bottle, veil, clear smoke, pain, inside feel the black, runny mead rain. I can see her every day at a certain place, wading through the morning in a rain that could wash a mountain away. Sometimes I am close and I see her eyes wild and tide-like, eyes which could sing and shine like moons, or could, but don't, or won't. In loving memory of James Douglas Morrison, rest in peace. The music dragon got him down in Texas that night. It stole his soul and made him cry. After this early swivel, the bright midnight came and haunting green scores from an obedient violin. All of his ladies who were snake charmers and sidewalk opera singers sent silent flowers over Parisian telephones of white. He is sleeping slowly in pearless chairs with all the other word wizards before him. Sometimes in wettest nights, strangers arrive to see his name carved between the ivy and the rain. The golf course with its employees and its members leaves many an unsaid word unsaid. A rolled out cat on Upper Parliament Street on a side of Tetley's on a spinning Saturday night. The sea green ferry boats whispering at the pier head and the thick laborers fencing the dawn back into the northern sky. All stony streets are crying in the rains, and the fading front doors fighting off the coal man's song. Mrs. Ping is strung out. She's trapped five kids in her room and fed them lumpy blancmanges. Out of the night, I have heard myself crying like a boy, and waking to a dawn blanket with bird song, to glide in the morning whilst all are sleeping, their heads out of the rushing light. If only sleepers feeling the deeper sense of life instead of the elapsed mechanical fantasy, I would not mind the absence of my love at daytime, my love, my truest love. I've never felt more love for you. It's overwhelming, like formaldehyde. Your dress is weird. Your mother's, is it? I'll meet you at 9.30 in the back row. That summer night on your cluttered porch, you peel potatoes. Your brother watched me. <clears throat> Tell your mother not to send any more potato pies, please. I love you, even with one contact lens. Let's watch the FBI tonight. You bring the beer. Whisper, you willow girls, out in the snow. Watch all the jesters who cry in damp cellars. Call home your children who waltz with the past. Send all your soldiers to live in the suburbs. Dance on the flowers you planted last spring and bring in the raven who cries on your lawn. Send all your letters with male men who snarl. Wrestle with signals that come in your dreams. Paint up the graveyards in all your dead towns. Gentle, gentle man, unstitch the twilight goblins work with silver hands and slender breasts. Gentle, gentle man, in the morning's web, murmuring city turning in a sleep, television whispers, cats laughing in fishbone alleys. Man, man, got your hand, man, tingle man, goblin gone, silver cobweb, telephone snore, and peace. You need to hang it in there. Not more. You left. 
The nightmare deer whose eyes I spied suspended in the morn with ghostly lips and fallen ear dissolve into its song, a song which hangs within a realm of splendid maize and green by brooks in meadows with chorus birds entwined within her dreams. And so her head remains with warehouse eyes and taxidermist smile. She bleats in heavy silence while stars and moons go striding by her grave. Luna girl from Greeny Farm, I heard your laughing stop. I sense your ticking little heart, I saw you watch the rain. Simple girl from foreign towns, with nature in your eyes. The secret kiss you left for me is pining for you still. Starry girl so far away, will you come back this way? A seed you dropped upon my land, or waiting for your song. Certain people are got at by the full moon. My lovely love, you stand by me in dark and rainy nights. When boyhood bad dreams fill my head, you bring me gentle light. And when the pains outnumber me, your love peals like English church bells out of the fog. Out to the breathless city, the sour girls all lie. Rocking like the aged, as silent as a fly. Yawns and summer movements, and many a dusty glance. Thoughts turned into dreaming, but never a glimpse of sky. Stalemates in the city, tears all dried to dust. Love the absent bishop, church bells silent toll. The early morning cries with rain upon some snow-white silent lambs. The flowers bend their heads, the birds have all gone away. I thought I heard my love, but it was just the rain, just the early morning rain. Mold, damp, wet, faces, soil, whiskers, periodic appearances, blind, rummaging fingers. Smash the grass down into the barred sky and green into all the stars which linger in the lovely night. The cat's moon smiles forever from Paris to Memphis. In sleepy night times, the artist is as gentle as jasmine. See the morning far away on mountain green. See the morning far away on mountain high and valley green and England gray. See the miles forever far, gleaming day spread on earth. We're just a morning star. Well, that's it. No, there's a few more, but I think that's enough for today. Al Graves and Cape Pixie Radio. Next one I'm going to read is this one. It's called This Is Only a Book. In the next segment. <laughs>